Hey, I'm Kev Kev, Mr. Coyne, welcome back to MotoGP 18, where Mo had a tough time in Argentina. Can he work his way up towards that top five or even a podium around the sake of the Americas in America? So here goes Mayo then for the first of three possible qualifying laps around an overcast Cota. We should see how aggressive the riders can be. With these overcast conditions, how difficult it would be to get that time going as this Moto 2 bike is really in already for Mario. This is not a good first set already. As he's chasing down an Evia is 209.7 on his KTM. And for Mario, he's just feeling it on this first lap and then he should be a bit more aggressive on the second and then be right on it on the third lap. Just like we saw in Argentina where he had decent pace. Just before he fell victim to tyre wear. And that could be the issue here as well. Tyre wear. And I would say he should be a bit better pace rise as well. Oh, he seems to do a bit better around here then in Argentina. So we'll see as he's... Nine tenths down on Olivier. Really is feeling it out on this opening lap. He's got this long back straight and then breaking hard. Not hard enough, apparently. Locked up the rears there, did Mahayo. So easy to do that. But you thought with the upgraded brakes now, you should be a bit more aggressive on them. Because he really did suffer down that back straight into that hairpin. Well, he's suffered a lot on this lab already. 2.7 seconds back. But I just not feel connected to the ground for Mario at the moment. But again, overcast conditions. Maybe the tyres will heat up. No, he's not even hitting apexes at all. And he's just cruising into these corners. Not being aggressive at all. Two out the final corner. 2.14.5. Almost five seconds off the base. Well, you can't do any worse than that, I guess. Goes into the first corner. Hits that apex. That's better. And through the right, it just... Feed in that power. And then the S's. All about being able to just hook up these apexes. Rotate that bike how you'd like. And apparently Mario's done that. Six tenths up. In the first sector. That surely can't be right. Go through the left. Then downhill through the left. Got to be careful the rear stepping out through that corner. Then out breaks itself into the hairpin. But still could get on the power early. Get a good run down this back chase. A second up now. What is going on? This lap isn't even that impressive. You see, he's made a couple of mistakes. But it seems to be working. To go out the left and into this tricky middle section. Expect some side by side racing through here for the fans. And again, a bit wide in that left hander. He's still two tenths up despite loads of mistakes. So it's all about this final sector for Mario. As Rotter does a 209.3, he's gone to the top as the German. Oh, I'm out hitting apexes now. Seems to be getting the hang of this now. A motor 2 bike around Kota. He's going towards the line. He's 2.2 off as the other has done a 28.5. So now into the top 10. Well, it's not good enough. Let's see what he can do. Let's final that. 
Ruskin just managing that throttle out of the corners and into the S's. Can okay, a bit more speed this time, even though this is where he's very strong on that last lap. And he's just slower than he was. A hundredth down on an Iviera. Not a bad first sector at all. And getting on the power, you can see that rear end stepping out again. Now hard breaking into the hairpin. Actually got close to the apex on this occasion, nope. So it's a personal best, he's three tenths down on it every hour. Definitely needs a 209, because look, he's down in 19th now, everyone's improving. By the end of this session. He's going to this middle section. Just letting the bike run a bit too wide there, Mario. So easy to do that, and into this left hand as well. As you kind of just cut back on yourself. He's 1.4 down. So it's a PB. But he still lost over a second in that sector. Oh, and almost too much curb. And then wide in the penultimate corner. Just a bit scruffy as this lap has gone on for Mario. Now at the final corner, just a 2.10.3. So is it Oliviera on par by a country mile? The only guy into the 208s and he's on par by half a second at about as I and in Alex Marquez. And it's Bagnaia, Chirota and Mir on the second row. Then Olivier's teammate Brinda needs a further ahead of Urge and Marini. And McDonald in the top 10 once again. He leads the fourth ahead of Navarro and Agata. And then you've got the Spaniard leading Cortoro and those on the fifth row. Homero, Joe Roberts on the sixth row alongside. And we've got uh, Matteo Pacini down in 18th. Just ahead of his teammate Locatelli and Corsi. And you've got Barbara rounding out the seventh row. Ardendale, Kane, Nakashima, Vinales, Fanati. Way ahead of his teammate is McDonald on this occasion. Pauli rounds out the ninth row. Then Manzi, De Niro, Ben Snyder. And then you've got Granado. Italian then Corridin in at last. But what can Mario do? Can he work his way up the order in the race? So here's Mario running up then at the start, waiting for the lights to go. How as we get underway in America for six laps and look at that start for Navarro. Really kicking it up the gears. Well, Binder and Mario did not. And Mario making a vape. Ambitious move in the first corner. Looks like Luca Marini might have been a victim of it. As Mario's into fifth. Behind Marini's teammate, Bagnaia. He's battling with one of the Mark VDS guys. Is this that Baldazari leading? And oh, Miguel Oliveira down to 20th. There goes Mario down the inside for third. Past Baldazari, and actually, is the Mark VDS 1 2. But how long will that last with Mario? Very aggressive at the start here. Taking over second. Can he take the lead from Alex Marquez? He can. Mario leads in America. For the first time on board a Moto2 machine. Well, he's got Alex Marquez in tow. He's got one minute in tow. Let's see who's the bravest of the breakers. Here's Mayo into the left hander. He's gone a bit wide though. Maybe a bit too brave. Is Verge's down in 21st, battling with Oliviera. Luca Marini down the 27th after his early exit stage right. But Mayo leads ahead of my hot VDS pair. What a dream start. And here comes Ron Miro back. Through the right hand, and Mario's just not getting the bike turning. Here comes Baldazari as well. As Alex Marcus down to fourth. 
Obama Mario takes the lead back into the penultimate corner. Is it going to the final corner now? Could Mario lead? They end the opening that. Now Desai tries to take it, but Mario does just ahead of me. We've got Bagnaya, Marcus around the top head of Chirotta, Navarro, Bassini, Binder, and Dominic Agaton. Whoa! Who's that? Is that Mir? He's just chucked himself out of the race. It is. As Madonna takes the lead back from Alex Marcus and Baldessario of battling. But one Mir. What is he doing there, the Spaniard? For Mayo, it back in the lead. I told you Kota would be better for him. I didn't expect him to be this good, though. As he's almost half a second ahead of Marcus. After the first set, he's made quite a lot of bike changes after qualifying. As you saw, the bike's still proving difficult to get round corners, but at least it brakes a bit better. Slightly better on acceleration. And can actually get around some of the corners. Well, I say better on the brakes. Man, he's just outbraked himself by country mile. And have to be careful of Alex Marcus, who's... What was that from Alex Marcus? That aggression. Something you see from Fanati, not from the Spaniards. And so here goes Mayo, breaking. Into... Whoa, Sharotta! Marcel, what have you done? Just losing it under the brakes. So Alex Marcus leads, McDonald down to third. Behind Bagnaya as well. Actually, no. It's Baldessari leading. It's Alex Marcus, who's McDonald is battling with now. Trying to fight back after that. What was that? A headbutt from Alex Marcus? And here comes Mario back into third. Or not. Alex Marcus gets him on the exit. And Mario tries to break around the outside. Just can't get on the power though. As to go onto the third lap. Got Binder behind in fifth. Navarro in sixth for the popcorn out. Let's look at that defensive line from Alex Marcus. Expecting a couple of guys to overtake him, such as Binder, such as McDonald, back up into third. Yes, he got Baldazari leading ahead of Bagnaya, the roommates in first and second. But for how much longer? Here comes Mayo with the move through the right. It's going to be outside through the left. Or not, he takes it. He gets a bit off track. Oh, Baldazari a bit wide. Baldazari into Mayo. But Mayo takes it back and oh, Baldazari down. Another faller from this lead group. There's Mayo very wide into the hairpin. It's going to allow Bagnaya to take back the lead. Has got the teammates battling for eighth. Young Spanish battling those. Has got Brad Binder in third. We've got Bagnaya's teammate Marini down in 20 sit. No, here comes Mayo just down the inside of Bagnai. He just left the door open. Let's go Olivia up to fifth, battling Navarro. Shirota down in 11th, Baldessari in 16th. We've got Bagnai. He's trying to outmaneuver Mayo. It looks like he has. Looks like Alex Marcus and Olivia want to join in as well in the battle for this lead. One mere down in 25th. Here comes Alex Marcus. Here come the KTMs. Look at that. Flanking. All right, back down the inside of Alex Marquez. Back into second as we approach the halfway mark of this race. A topsy turvy race. As shown with Mayo in second behind Bagnaya. Less than half a second separates them as we get into the second half of this race. Give you with the new fastest out 2 8. Point nine. Trying to dive down the inside of Mayo. And Alex Marquez. Magano got the run. Round the outside of Alex Marquez. Now got a run. 
on Bagnaya through the S's. Can he take back the lead? Oh, the Italian leaves the door open. Oh, he doesn't need a second invitation. So back into the lead is Mario hunting his first Moto2 win in just this third race in the class. Has he got one mid back up the 21st? Mario struggling with traction. Out of the corner, not through the kink though. Let's get into the hairpin. No wheel spin this time, but he's going to be the toe for everyone else. To Alex Marcus, to the KTMs, to Bagnaya. We've seen how good he is at on the brakes at the end of this straight. As they try and outbreak Mario, it does not work. He does go a bit wide on the exit. In through the right hand. Oh, they cut back on him. Do bag nine and Riviera. Then Mayo finds a gap in the middle. Doesn't stick though. And we still got Alex Marcus in here. He's still got Binder as well. Got McDonald taking alternate lines. While well, he's trying to hold off Alex Marcus. Looks like he has. And into the penultimate corner, tries to go down the entire bag. Naya makes it stick. Very aggressive for Mario. But it's working. Has he gone to the penultimate lap of the race? Olivier leads. He's been the quickest guy the last few laps. So maybe deservedly so. But he's got a bunch of riders behind him. Killing Marcus. He's down though. Just like his teammate Mir just loses it on the brakes. So they've got Bagnaya. And he's got Mario. He's trying to get back into second. Makes it stick. He's got Olivier in front. And for Mario, the bike's just not 100%, but he's sticking with this lead group round here. You've got Verge in Sith, Lowe's and Seven. Oh, wide for Mario. That was Bagnaya back by into second, does it? No, Mario faster through the kink. Now breaking for the hairpin. Just can't get on the power. So this bike has got no downforce on the front. Just can't keep the front wheel down. As Olivier is getting away from the madmen behind. Well, Don takes back second from Bagnaya. And this time doesn't run wide on the exits. Remy Gardner's up to 11th on his Tech 3 battle with Domi Agata. Got Marini, Bagnaya's teammate, back up to 18th. We've got Maya trying to chase down Miguel Oliveira for his first win. But he's 1.2 back. And now we're going through this right hand. Ah, but the bike does not get settled at all. He makes it stick. And now we've just got one lap to go after this final corner. Of a very... Strange it feels, Moto2 race. As Olivia Lee, Ted and McDonald, Bagnaya, Pacini, Verge. I think it's just because everyone seems out of position. Mario's on the podium spot. Pacini's battling for the podium as well. Got Bagnaya in second. Got Mario back up into third, past Pacini, but the Italian does not want to relinquish that. Midnight doesn't want to link his second to Mario either. As he sees his championship rival lead in Olivier. But Mario back up into that position, makes the move through the right. Mm -hmm. 
and they get going again, down in 14. No points for Mayo. Down to 30, taken out by Bagnaya on the final lap. Some might say karma though for some of the moves McDonald's done in this race. And look at the spanning up into fourth ahead of Sharotta. As Ron Mears in 13th. Tyres are shot for Mario. That's a move he could have done a lap ago, but not this lap. Got Alex Marcus down there, but Bagnaya in the top 10. Battling Marcus for that position. For McDonald, this is one to forget about in the end, but until that final lap, that was a promising race for the Moto3 champ. The bike's not there yet. The bike feels horrible around it. I said it's surprising seeing him battling all the way up there. As Oliviera wins, as everything's so ahead of Pacini and Verge. Then you've got Verge, Timo Sharotta rounding out the top five. You've got Mayo crossing the line. Judectedly down in 30 seconds. What could have been? He could have had some champagne. Could be spraying it instead. He gets nothing. So Olivier wins by almost three seconds ahead of Pacini. What a podium for the veteran ahead of Verge in third. Then you've got the Contner in fourth. I just say Ika. I really can't pronounce his surname as a brilliant result for the Spaniard ahead of Chiros. And his teammate, those in sixth, backing him up. We've got Navarro, Baldessari, Alex Marquez in ninth ahead of Agata, Bagnaira down in 11th in the end of that last lap clash. And then Gardner, Mir, Barbera and Marini in 15th, just grabbing the final point ahead of Quartararo by a few tenths of a second. He got Fanati down in 18th, but it's not as bad as his teammate Mario. Down in 32nd, despite a great fastest lap. Once again, right up there with fastest laps, but not the result he wanted once again. So in the Riders Championship, Olivier leads by 18 points over Alex Marquez. Verge up to third. Pacini the big mover up to fourth. Up six places ahead of Bagnaya now. He rounds out the top five. Other movers and shakers. Binder down nine, four places down to ninth. Mir down the position. Shorter up to seventh. You've got the Spanish Ica up into tenth. Mayo drops out of the top ten. Down to thirteenth. Agata up to fourteenth after his first points of the season with Isaac Fernandez in 21st and last of the point scorers while Nakashima up to 24th and you've got Bazillian right at the back so for Mayo he has got no reputation earned he's lost some again no development points earned as well his skill is up to 74 for riding position for Manager and Brates 76 for the angle And in MotoGP, of course, it was Marquez Land ahead of Dovi and Vinales. And in the Moto3, it was Jorge Martin ahead of Bezeki and Bashini. So for Mario, some work to do with the Moto2 bike. As I said, it felt horrible around there, but he got that time out of it. Can he do the same round Jerez for the first visit to Spain of the season? Sound for watching, and we'll find out next time.